the games that I had the most fun working on are the ones that either didn't come out or did the worst, <laughs> right? I love Planet Side to death. If people ask me to, to this day, what's my favorite game? I say Planet Side, but that game was broken. It was broken. full of bugs. Yeah. We launched with a Why? database that was just, I mean, I can't even, I, I couldn't even tell you. It was staggering. Yeah. So Planet Side, to give a little context, was this very huge world. You'd pick a sector, you'd land in, you'd be on one of three factions, and you would just fight to take over these capture points. You could drive tanks and like, flying machines and you know motorcycles and yeah. all whatever they were called in yeah. that game. It was it had a ton of stuff in it, yeah. um, and it was awesome. one of the first games that was massively open. It was like imagine battle royales running constantly across a, a planet. And you're just being dropped into the border conflict uh, and you, your progress decides how your border moves. It was really cool, but it was a massive technical hurdle in an era where massively multiplayer games, there was one that existed, right? And that was EverQuest. And then WoW came out as, uh, and then Planet Side was somewhere in that timeline. And it's just mm -hmm. the tech wasn't there yet. It wasn't quite there. It wasn't quite there internally. It was flawless. It felt great, right? Because no you didn't have to deal with the latency. You didn't yeah. have to deal with those issues. But we knew as players, as like lovers of the genre, if we didn't get this feel right. And as someone as a Blizzard alumni, I think feel and feel of a game, like you know quality based on like within the first two seconds of touching a game, the game's quality. There's some sort of connectedness to it. And because we couldn't bring Planet Side to that level, I knew even though I worked harder on that game than any game I worked on subsequently, because of just the sheer number of hours I had to put into it, that it wasn't going to be received well and that we were going to get kind of roasted on social media quite a bit. Um, and so my job then became reading bug report forums. Oh, man. And uh, yeah. that's a hard job. It can, it can eat at you, right? Players yeah. like players can like be, especially vitriolic, right? Yeah, you, right. They will, they will like, and they're telling you basically like, how did you miss this? How did you, how could you have possibly missed these issues? And you're just kind of like thinking to yourself, you're like, dude, I found that issue 16 months ago, bro. Like, that, I know it's there. It's just we can't, we it. can't get it fixed. And the, either the reason we can't get it fixed is technical. It's it's fiscal, it's uh, priorities, it, it's a whole it's a whole gamut of reasons. But I think you look at games that are truly successful long term; they're the ones that typically work the best. So why do you think it is that those games that didn't perform as well ended up being your favorites to work on? Probably because of that, right? Like it's like that that like. Like, I know this is a good game. I know this could be better. I think that I wish or I see the potential that was there. Whereas in a lot of the other games, I feel like the potential was met. And I was very satisfied with the end result. So I see. I can say, like, yeah, I'm happy with that. Champions of Norath, that's a really fun, solid package as a singular playstation 2 game like dungeon crawl game fun but planet side specifically it just couldn't we couldn't get it done but i could still see and that's still the game that to this day i want to play but it yeah. it's not out there um and the subsequent attempts to make like planet side 2 and such um we're not we're not there yet um, whether the tech's not there yet or just the, I mean, the MMO market is, is wild nowadays and with Battle Royales being what they are, maybe that's kind of just, maybe we will see that in some form um, again. But uh, it was, these were also early days and so it's probably a little bit of nostalgia, to be honest. Yeah. If you like that, please click here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon.